of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I am back with another video. Today, I will be doing cooking in my new kitchen, part one for you guys. What's on today's menu is seared salmon and broccoli florets. Um, here's the salmon right here. It's already marinated. It's been marinating for a very long time. I'm gonna take the salmon and make little slits in it. And I have broccoli florets which is happened to be one of my favorites right here. Um, one of the videos that I was gonna do was gonna be, one of the first videos I was gonna be doing was cooking homemade steak nachos with the Cryer family. But guys, it is extremely nasty outside. It's been raining in Houston. Well, in my part of Houston all day long. So we're gonna do this video for you guys and I'm gonna be cooking them both in butter. As you see, I already got two pans on the stove. I got both of them with butter in them already. Um, I'm using country crock butter. I hope I said that right. Just to make sure, guys. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. And I can. Oh, here we go. Oh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. We're going to use the country crock butter for this uh, lunch today. So, this is going to be a pretty, pretty fast meal right here. Um, so, what I'm going to do, since I already have the butter on, I'm going to go ahead and put the broccoli florets inside this right here. The oil, because the broccoli florets won't take long at all. Now, even though the, the broccoli florets are still frozen, you can still cook them the way that they are. It's not a problem at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in here. With being that this is a new electric stove, I've never used it before. This is my first time using a stove. So I actually have it set to like um, number three, which is not an extremely high setting because I don't wanna have the setting too high. And on this, sear um, salmon right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make the lines in the salmon. I have butter already inside this pan right here. So again, I'm going to sear the salmon. This is only my second time in my life making salmon, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make these cuts in the salmon for you again. This is the salmon. This is just less than one pound. I think 0.98 or point nine seven so this is not a very uh heavy piece of meat at all so i'm gonna cut this real quick show you guys i must I'm, what i'm doing is i'm making the cuts on the more thicker part of the salmon because you know the thicker that fish is the thicker that seafood is the harder that it's cooked harder it is to cook so i want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through um this is actually again one of my favorite meals but every time I eat it, it's always cooked for me. But I've never really, you know, I've cooked it before, but I've never seared it before. So basically, I've made it in the oven before. So right here, what I did, let me get too close to the camera. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I made eight cuts in a thicker part of the salmon. That way it cooks all the way through. So all I'm gonna do is since the uh, oil is already hot, I'm gonna show you the oil again if I haven't showed you already. I didn't put a whole lot of oil, it's actually butter. I didn't put a whole lot of butter in the bottom of the pan. So we're not gonna cook this too high. And I actually has to have this set on a temperature of 3.5, three and a half. So I don't know what that is on a gas stove, but I know an electric stove, 3.5. So we got that in there cooking right now. Um, I just wanna say real quick guys, before we get any further into this video, I wanna say first and foremost, I wanna say thank you all so much who recently subscribed to the channel, man. Welcome to the Pryor family. I really appreciate all the ones who recently subscribed. As you know, for the new people who's been on the Pryor family um, for like a short period of time, there's been a lot going on on my channel. But recently I decided to go ahead and turn my channel around and try to take it into a more positive direction because so much has happened on this platform and I'm just thankful that I still have a platform. So 
thank you all. And I want to say thank you all who recently watched the new kitchen update videos. There was a part one through part six. I had so many wonderful, great feedback and comments on those videos with people telling me, um, you know, giving me suggestions, not telling me, but giving me suggestions on how to actually fix the kitchen up. For instance, I had a lady come into my comments a few days ago and say, Mr. Cryer, maybe you should try to take the dining room, take the dinner table out of your front room area and put it in the kitchen area. And I did that. And then I think in yesterday's vlog, the last uh, number six uh, building my new kitchen vlog, um, someone said, well, most people said, Mr. Cryer, take some of the stuff off the counter because it looks kind of cluttered and put it into the cabinet. That way that you have more counter space and it makes the counter look, you know, a lot more better. So I was thinking the more stuff on the counter, the more better that it look. For instance, like the crock pot, the coffee maker, the microwave. And I thought that that would actually make the counter look a lot better. But actually, according to you guys and a lot of people that's in the comments are older people who knows how a kitchen should look. I'm grateful that you guys was able to give me tips and stuff like that. And I want to read some of these comments to you guys while this food is actually cooking. But I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. I listen to you guys. Some people even said that where I had the um, the, um, the uh, table at in the front room area, they said I should actually take that area, put an area rug down, and use that as like a play area for my son Dion, which is really, really awesome idea, man. I want to take the time out while the food cooking and read some of these comments to you guys. So I'm going to turn the camera off just for a second, but I'll be back very, very shortly. Hey guys, I had to actually put my bifocals on to um, read some of the comments to you, man. Some of the comments are just like wonderful comments that's really motivational. But before I actually read the comments, there's one thing that I want to say, and don't you guys ever forget this. This is from yesterday's video. It says, don't junkie your countertops with all those small appliances. Crock pots, you have all that cabinet space to store that stuff. Use cabinet space so you so your kitchen don't look cluttered. Just an idea, your coffee pot can go on the countertop with the microwave. Get a kitchen decor for your counter. That came from Latashi P. Thank you so much for that. Um, the one that I pinned says, it came from Lisa Lisa, it said, nothing like a man that keeps a nice home. Listen, I try to keep my house clean, whether I have a new kitchen or not. That's one thing about me, I'm always cleaning. Anybody who knows me personally will tell you guys, I clean even when cleaning is not necessary. The next comment comes from Miss Samuel. Miss Samuel has always, like, spoken so positive like if I go to other channels and watch videos I see Miss Samuel Miss Samuel in there she always uh, quotes this uh, quote at the beginning of the comment and then she'll drop down and she'll comment on your video she says you deserve to relax you deserve to rest you deserve peace and then her comment the kitchen looking good time to put in the work for the cooking vlogs Glad you got everything done for your kitchen. So thank you for that, Miss Samuel. The next one, Nicholas Wong says, Damien, your new kitchen looks amazing. And then I'm gonna read one more. Jakari Wilkerson says, the kitchen looks great. Thank you. So that's just to read a few guys. And like I said, believe it or not, I took the comments that you guys left me and as you can see, I'm going to turn the camera around in a second. You guys will be able to see I paid very close attention to what you say because you can learn. Remember I said a while back, you can learn a lot about yourself through other people. Even if it's constructive criticism, you can learn a lot about yourself through other people. 
Other people can tell you things in the comments that other people who know you personally may be scared to tell you or may not want to tell you because they're afraid that you may befriend them or y'all may fall out. But when I see certain comments like that, man, I take it to heart and say, you know what, maybe this is right. Maybe all this stuff shouldn't be piled up on this counter like this. Maybe I shouldn't have all this stuff out in the open like this because again, I thought that I looked at nice, but apparently it makes it look cluttered. As you guys can see, I did leave the microwave over there now. Some people said where I have the pumpkin at on the table as you enter the kitchen, I'm sorry, on the counter, as you enter the kitchen, that's off to the right. I should actually use that as a coffee station or the microwave station, except, you know, as opposed to a television. But here's the problem. With the size of that counter space right there, my one-year-old can reach up there and grab stuff when he's over here. So I could put stuff over there, but when he comes over, and I know that he's going to my house to spend a few days with me, I have to move that microwave and that coffee pot over. Not for fear that he's going to break it, but fear that he's going to hurt himself. And so that's something that I'm always doing, is like trying to practice safety. So I did keep the microwave over there, and as you're going to see in this corner in a second, I don't have anything over here because you guys are right, it did look clutter. But let me check on this salmon and this food real quick, and then we'll get back to... I want you guys to look at this broccoli, guys. Look at this. I don't want to tilt too far because I don't want to spill this on the floor. But look at that. That broccoli looks amazing. It's coming along just right, just fine. We got the salmon. I put a lid over it when the camera was off because I didn't want to, you know, splash and grease everywhere. Go ahead and turn that over. Seriously. Ooh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, there you go guys, that's that salmon right there, I'm going to get too close to the camera, we're going to go ahead and leave the lid off of it for now, go ahead and turn this down a little bit more, now I want to show you guys the counter real, real quick, um, this side first, so as you guys see, I did take you guys' advice because you advise you guys advice me in the world to me. That's how I'm able to do the stuff that I'm doing. So I did take all that stuff off the counter right here. There was two microwaves right there, which one of the microwaves actually left my house yesterday because it wasn't mine. It was actually a loner. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, one of the crock pots left my house yesterday because it was actually a loner. It was actually left here about a year and a half ago. And so that actually left yesterday. So I got one crock pot, which I only need one crock pot. So that's all cleared out. And this area right here, again, like I said, I still have my Keurig right here because I do enjoy my coffee every morning. I have my microwave right here and I left a couple items right here. And as you will see, as we come over here, I did put a lot of stuff in these cabinets right here. So it's like not on the counter. I have another grill right there for like outside park barbecue and I can throw in the back of my pickup truck and take to the beach with me. I put the pots and pans in here, got them all, you know, spaced out really nice and neat. I got other pots and pans down here at the bottom. It scares me about that because Dion does open these cabinets and he does pull stuff out and I don't want to get hurt. And up here, I ended up putting more stuff up here at the top of this cabinet. I went and bought three cases of this yesterday. Remember guys, I said, we don't know what's going to happen when we have like catastrophic events to happen, stores get closed down and stuff unexpectedly, we have to be prepared. Noodles is not gonna save the day, but it's definitely gonna help. So I have almost 100 cups of these noodles right here. I'm gonna be going to get dry foods from the Dollar Tree uh, sometime this evening so I can have a lot of stuff stocked up. One of my things I like to eat is these right here, uh, which are the cheese and pretzels. I wanna get about 50 of these. I got crackers up there, more dry food in case something crazy happens. Uh, I put my paper plates up here, my paper bowls up here where they were on the counter last time. So they're no longer on the counter. Right here, I, again, now my trash can is up here so Dion doesn't knock it over. The pumpkin is actually gonna go unless we go ahead and then do some more work to the pumpkin, which I'm, I'm not sure. But this is what people were talking about. Use this space right here for the microwave or coffee pot which is a great idea but i'm scared because dion can pull that down and hurt itself so as you see this space right here and turn the light on people were saying that i could use this space right here to make dion a play area and this is exactly what i'm going to do with this space guys that was really an awesome idea 
I can turn this into a big old play area for Dion because he's over here playing anyway. Over there, that's my area where I sit. And somebody else in the comments said, you don't need another set of furniture in the front room. This set of furniture, guys, is gonna be going real soon. So, someone commented and said, Mr. Cryer, you, should, you consider getting a pool table right there. And that's funny because that's exactly what I'm thinking about doing, is putting a pool table in this area. So, back in here to the food, guys. Don't want my food to get burnt. Give you guys a close up of it. See that salmon doing a stain down there? Oh yeah, what's up salmon, what's up salmon? So, I'm gonna turn this off for a second, catch myself a breath real quick, and I'm gonna be back shortly. But yeah, I wanted you guys to see this broccoli and stuff. You don't have to cook it really fast. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna turn that down a little bit. And the salmon, I could actually turn that down because it's nice and seared already. I'm just making sure that the middle part is done. And that was the reason for the cuts in the middle. Okay guys, so the food is pretty much done now. I'm gonna go ahead and then make my plate and show you guys what it looks like. Don't forget guys, if you decide to make this dish at home, um, which is again, it's salmon, it's just shy of a whole pound of salmon. And then you got the broccoli florets, which is, you can actually cook this broccoli uh, the way I cooked it, but it's any type of broccoli. Whether it's broccoli florets or it's regular broccoli. Um, broccoli is all the same to me. I think it's just the uh, top part of the broccoli without all the stems. That's why they call it florets. But as far as the salmon, many people have different ways of cooking salmon. You can bake salmon. I don't know if you can boil salmon. I'm quite sure that, that you can boil any type of meat. But from what I understand, salmon is extremely healthy for you, even though it is an expensive piece of fish. Um, but I think they say salmon is extremely healthy for you. Um, so I do encourage that if you like fish, I encourage you to try to eat salmon. But again, if you have some salmon recipes that you want me to try in one of my upcoming videos in the future, all you gotta do is drop me a comment in the comment section down below. And just know that each video from this point is going to get better and better and better. Some of these videos that I'm gonna be doing is gonna be four, five, six course meals. Um, so especially with the holidays coming up, so you guys can expect some crazy cooking videos around that time. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take my broccoli, which is done already. Looks pretty good. Put that right there. Get rid of that plate. I've got my salmon. That is a huge piece of salmon. I know I'm not gonna be able to eat all of that salmon, but it's okay guys. That means we'll have something to eat later on this evening for dinner. And you, uh, you guys always know I'm always saying practice cleaning while you're cooking. That way you don't have a lot of cleaning to do after you cook. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I cook a meal, whether it's a meal or lunch, it depends on how much I eat. If I eat a lot, I tend to get really, really tired and really sleepy really fast. And that's called the ice. So anyway. This is what we have right here, guys. That is my salmon. Let me stand over here so you guys can see it better. Salmon and broccoli florets. There you go. I'm gonna do a little taste test with you guys real quick. I want you to do me a favor. Comment down below what you think of this video. Let me know if there's something that you think I could have did different in this video. Um, I would not be offended. Sometimes constructive criticism is always good. It always depends on the person that's receiving and how they're taking it. So anyway, this is the salmon. Look at that. That looks very yummy. Really hot too. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mmm. This salmon is mind blowing. Don't really take that long to cook it at all. Mm, mm, mm. Now for the broccoli floret. Extremely good. Mm. I'm not gonna eat all this on camera because if I do, I'm gonna just run my mouth and not really eat. But thank you guys for watching this video, man. Don't forget to smash that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this video and if you want more videos like it. I love you guys. Until next time, it's your boy Damian Cryer. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.
Peace.